In the tranquil depths of your home aquarium, a silent horror unfolds. Your guppies, those vibrant jewels of the freshwater, harbour a dark secret. These seemingly peaceful fish are capable of a brutality that might shock you. Your guppies are murderers. That's right, these so-called peaceful fish will hunt down and eat their own babies without hesitation. But why? Why would any creature resort to such a macabre act? Is this simply the brutal reality of nature played out in miniature within the glass walls of your tank? Or is there something more at play here? Is your setup the real problem? To understand this behavior, we must first venture into the guppy's natural world. In the wild, these fish are both prey and predator. Their lives are a constant balancing act between finding food and avoiding becoming a meal themselves. This constant pressure has honed their instincts, leading to a chilling truth. In the guppy world, survival often means sacrificing the most vulnerable, but the confines of a fish tank present a very different environment. Here, the balance is disrupted. Without the natural predators and vast spaces of their native habitats, your guppy's instincts can become twisted, turning a once-balanced ecosystem into a massacre. The reasons behind this cannibalistic behavior are varied and complex, but we can break them down into key drivers. Firstly, it's pure instinct. Guppies, like many other fish, are opportunistic eaters. Fry, being small and slow, represent an easy meal and a quick source of protein. This instinct to reduce competition for resources, even their own offspring, is hardwired into their DNA. Secondly, the environment you provide plays a crucial role. A sparsely decorated tank with few hiding places leaves fry exposed and vulnerable. Imagine a dense rainforest floor compared to an open field which offers more protection. Your guppy's instincts tell them to eliminate any easy targets and in a bear tank, that means the fry. Thirdly, hunger and poor feeding habits can exacerbate the problem. If your adult guppies are not adequately fed, their drive to find sustenance overrides any parental instincts. Remember, these are not mammals with complex emotional bonds to their young. They are driven by basic survival needs. Lastly, stress and overcrowding can turn even the most docile guppy into a baby-eating monster. A crowded tank leads to increased aggression and competition for resources, making the fry even more vulnerable. Now you might hear some self-proclaimed experts say that this behavior is just nature and there's nothing you can do about it. Let me assure you that is simply not true. While the instinct to eat their young is strong, it can be managed and even prevented with the right knowledge and effort. One of the most common myths you'll hear is that guppies only eat the weak or deformed fry. This is patently false. A hungry guppy will eat any fry it can catch regardless of its health or appearance. Don't fall for the misleading comfort of this dangerous assumption. Another misconception is that well-fed guppies won't eat their fry. While it's true that providing adequate nutrition is crucial, it's not a foolproof guarantee. Remember, instinct plays a powerful role and a moment of opportunity can override even a full stomach. Then there's the belief that a large tank is all you need to prevent fry eating. Again, while tank size is important, it's not the be-all and end-all. It's about creating the right environment, not just providing more space. Chapter 3. So how do you create a safe haven for your guppy fry and break the cycle of cannibalism? Let's explore some proven strategies that can significantly increase the survival rate of your fry. The first line of defense is providing ample cover and protection. Think of it as recreating the dense vegetation of their natural habitat. Floating plants like water lettuce and hornwort provide excellent cover from above, while dense clumps of java moss and other fine leaf plants offer hiding places at the bottom. Another effective strategy is to use a breeder box. These are small, floating containers that provide a safe space for fry to grow while allowing water flow from the main tank. While they can be a lifesaver, they are not a perfect solution and should be used judiciously. The next weapon in your arsenal is a simple yet often overlooked tactic, the food hack. During fry feeding times, ensure your adult guppies are distracted and well fed with high protein foods. This will satisfy their hunger and reduce their urge to hunt for a quick snack. For those seeking a more permanent solution, separating the fry completely is the way to go. This can be achieved by using dividers within the main tank 
setting up a separate grow-out tank specifically for fry or creating a DIY nursery within the main tank. Selective breeding is another long-term solution. By choosing guppies with less aggressive tendencies for breeding, you can gradually cultivate a more peaceful community over several generations. And finally, if all else fails and you have a particularly persistent culprit, you may have to resort to the last resort, removing the aggressive adult permanently. This should be a last resort, but sometimes it's necessary to protect the innocent fry. Chapter 4 Now, I know some people will argue that intervening in this way is unnatural, that we should simply let nature take its course, but I must challenge that notion. We have already interfered by removing these fish from their natural environment and placing them in an artificial one. If we are going to be responsible stewards of these creatures, we must provide them with the best possible care, and that includes protecting the vulnerable. To stand by and allow fry to be eaten, simply because it happens in the wild, is not only lazy, but also ignores the reality of the confined and controlled environment we have created. The truth is, we hold the power to influence the lives of these creatures. We decide what goes into their environment, what they eat and how they live. With that power comes a responsibility to act, to educate ourselves and to provide the best possible care. The survival of your guppy fry rests entirely in your hands. The real question is, are you the reason your fry keep disappearing? Chapter 5 so, I ask you, my fellow fish-keeping enthusiasts, what will you choose? Will you be a passive observer, allowing nature to take its often brutal course? Or will you become a guardian, a protector of the innocent, and a champion for your guppy fry? If you're still struggling with fry loss, don't despair. Share your experiences in the comments below. Tell me about your setup, your feeding routine, and any challenges you're facing. Let's work together to create a thriving environment for your guppies and their young. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you understand about the intricate lives of these fascinating creatures, the better equipped you'll be to provide them with the care they deserve. Don't be the reason your fry don't make it. Take action now, and let's create a brighter future for guppy generations to come. The story of the guppy is a testament to the power of adaptation, the drive to survive against all odds, but it is also a reminder that even the smallest creatures are capable of great complexity, their lives governed by a delicate balance of instinct and environment. As we have seen, the fate of guppy fry hangs precariously in the balance, often subject to the whims of their parents and the limitations of their artificial world. But there is hope. By understanding the forces at play, by replicating the safety and abundance of their natural habitat, we can help tip the scales in favour of life, ensuring that the next generation of these vibrant fish can thrive.